Hi, I'm Lori Dale, and I'm here in historic Dodge City, Kansas, and we're here to meet the veterans behind the poppies. My history with the Buddy Poppy began over 40 years ago when I was on the poppy float in my hometown of Kenyon, Minnesota. In 1922, the VFW adopted the Buddy Poppy as its official flower to symbolize the ultimate sacrifice made by those who defended our country. The flowers, typically assembled by veterans in need or disabled veterans, improve the lives of many veterans and their families. They also generate extra income for veterans. At the local level, income goes to the Auxiliaries Relief Fund and is used to aid veterans, active duty military personnel, fellow members, and their families. On state and national levels, Buddy Poppy Money provides much needed services for disabled veterans, their widows, and orphans. Funds raised from Buddy Poppy donations also go towards supporting the VFW National Home for Children and Veterans Rehabilitation Services. You put the stem into the flower. Hold the flower like this tight so you can get the label on the close to the flower. And just bend the label and yeah, bundle them in tens. And I can make 500 of an evening by myself, just sitting there, having the box on my lap and watching television. I enjoy doing it. That's great. Thank you. Good cause. I feel like that uh, I'm doing a great deed for a lot of the people, you know. And this is one program that everybody at once who can, can participate in. They can help themselves plus help the veterans. I think this program has helped more people than any program that the VFW has. A lot of people have bought furniture, a lot of people, have, you know, they, they have a little money that they wouldn't have otherwise. The Buddy Poppy's roots go back to Belgium during World War I when Canadian Lieutenant Colonel John McCrae penned the poem in Flanders Fields in honor of a lost friend and comrade. At the memorial service, looking out at the graves on the battlegrounds, McCrae saw a sea of white crosses punctuated only by the bright red of the poppy flower, a brightness and symbol of life that survived even though so many had perished. The flower reminds us of the sacrifices veterans have made, losing their lives or their health while defending our country and fighting for our freedom. It reminds us never to forget what they've done for us. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Besides offering them to the public, VFW posts and auxiliaries also make wreaths of poppies to lay at graves of deceased members, adorn floats with them, and even construct buddy poppy walls of remembrance. I've been involved in the national level since 2007 is when I took over the program. I do all of the shipping out, I don't personally ship out, but I ha process them to the shipping centers to send the poppies to the posts upon order from the departments. On a local level, I have distributed poppies since I became a member in 1979. So I've done lots of drives myself. Of course, they get the help through the Veterans Service Fund. One and a half cents per poppy is sent to the department who purchased the poppy for the Veterans Service Fund. One cent goes to National Home for Children, and one cent goes to the Veterans Service Fund for National Headquarters. So those go to the programs that we sponsor, such on the auxiliary level, the suicide awareness, and um, other areas like service dogs for veterans, so that would help them personally. Since the inception of the Buddy Poppy program in 1922, there has been over one billion poppies purchased from national headquarters to the local posts. 
We have 59 active assemblers, and it's not uncommon to bring in a quarter of a million poppies every two weeks. I'm a life member of the VFW. I've served as an officer several times. I've been directly involved with poppies on a post level. I know how important this work is. It's a good feeling all the way around. We even have a husband and wife team that sit side by side after dinner and makes poppies while they watch their game show. Making poppies takes care of income needs while I'm looking for part-time work. It has a pretty big meaning and it's really good therapy time. It's something I can do with my hands and take a sense of pride and accomplishment in. In Arizona, there's a post. One of the ladies auxiliary members works for a corporation. They distribute poppies throughout the building, her corporation, and the corporate sponsor um, matches up to $1,000 for the donations within that building. And I thought that was very nice. And in Colorado, there is a three posts that have a slight rivalry within them, a, a mutual bet between them. One is in the mountains and two is down below the mountain. And the three commanders, on their poppy drive in Memorial Day, whoever collects the least amount of money has to buy the other two a steak dinner, which I thought that was really funny. And between the three posts, they collect close to $40,000 within that Memorial Weekend. And there's a 92-year-old World War II veteran here in Missouri that since he has become a member just after World War II that has never missed a poppy drive. I got involved because I'm the first generation in my family that didn't go into the military. So God put a position in place for me to serve veterans. It's a great program. Anything that helps the VFW as a national organization expand and help veterans. It's wonderful all-around help, not only for veterans in need of extra income, but the end product goes to helping veterans. It's veterans helping veterans, a brotherhood and sisterhood. I like it because it occupies my time and it's a chance to earn a little extra income. It gives me a chance to work with my hands, the reason I'm here is I used to drive cross country, but had a stroke that took me out of work, so this is a good therapy for me. It's nice knowing you're doing something to help other veterans. It gives you something to do. It keeps you occupied, and it's good knowing it helps veterans and supports the different things that help veterans, their families, and children.